All right, so yesterday I did my beard and it came out great. I used that uh, beard dye product because my hair was so blonde that I couldn't really see it. And after 56 days, it looked like I wasn't even growing a beard. But now that my beard matches my hair um, and it's a little darker, you can see how thick it's grown. But we're not even talking about that today. Today, I'm going to be doing my hair. So the top of my hair here, I just, if you guys haven't noticed, I shaved my head last night when I was doing the beard. So I shaved all this and I tried to taper it in as good as I could. And I shaved the top with a, just a one inch. So I did the one inch and I shaved it myself. So now that I got it all cut to where I want it to be, um, because I'm, I need a new personality. I need a new gimmick. I need something to bring attention to myself that's different for my YouTube channels. So um, my colors are green and purple for my auto channel. Uh, so um, I'm going to do the top of my hair purple, but first I have to bleach it. So I want you guys to see, you know, the color it looks like, and then uh, go ahead and I'm going to paste it on. And you can see before, and then I'm going to show you after. And then we're going to take a cut and we're going to do this purple color. And then we're going to build ourselves into this new YouTube influencer because now I have a third channel coming out where I'm going to be talking about news, influence, things that are going on, controversial stuff that nobody else wants to talk about. But now I'm going to bleach it. So we're going to go ahead and do this and bleach the top out and make it like super, super white, white. So that we can go ahead after that and put some of this purple in. Now the colors of my company for my um, other, well, my actual real company is Disturbing Creations, the auto channel. But on this channel, I just do DIY to help you out. If I do something or I learn something, I want to show other people so that you can learn and see where I made a mistake or I did something great, you know, save yourself some time, money and build some confidence. So I'm going to go with this purple color. Um, these were like 14, 15 bucks a piece for all these different brands, but this, there were three colors that were on sale for $3 and 50 cents. So I was going to pick either green or purple for my business colors for the other channel and I couldn't find green. So I'm going to go with the purple. So I've never done this before. So if you're like me or you're young and you want to dye your hair or you're just, never done this before and you're just like i want to try something different or it's halloween or hey whatever man i just want a new look you know what i'm saying <laughs> let's take this journey so first things first let's check out what's in these boxes let's see i don't know what the dye stuff is so let's figure it out all right so i got this box recommended to me from the girl that was working at the CVS where I went because she had like a greenish blue hair and I figured hey she does this she's doing her her stuff was right on point I loved it so she said to get this kit and this will take all the color out of my hair and make it more of a white like this towel instead of the color that of my hair is now I would say my hair is not this brown but it's, it's in between these two, you know? Uh, and if it could take this brown all the way down, then you're gonna see the purple a lot more. If you put the purple on top of that brown, you're not really gonna see it. It's gonna come out, so let's let's see. So if you, uh, if you have dark hair um, here, the, the purple comes out this color. So if, if your hair is this dark, your hair comes out dark purple. But if your hair is super light blonde, then it comes out like super rad purple. You know what I mean? That's what I want. So we got to lighten the hair and then we have to color it. So this is made by L'Oreal. I guess that's a hair color. I've, I've heard of it before. I've, you know, I've dated women that have done, uh, done this or my mom colored her hair when, when I was young. So it uh, looks like there's a couple gloves in here. I guess you don't stain your hands. So we got two gloves. They, they feel cheap, like lunch lady gloves. Um, I guess this is like some directions. And here's a bottle of um, Develop Cream. 
and there's some in here. So I, I think there's like this much. I, I can't really see. I have to look down in the bottle. It's like this much. It says number one. So maybe that's step number one. Uh, this says anti-brass conditioner with cool tones. Number four. So this is probably like after. All right, so we'll set that down. And let's see. Um, lightning cream. Okay, so this says cream. And this says develop cream. So when I did my beard i just did a video about how to do my beard if you want to learn how to dye your beard if you have a beard or dye someone's beard for them uh click on my playlist on how to do dye and it'll come up so you can learn how to dye your beard now i did have a developer cream and then i had a color it was just two things mixed it together and it was real easy and i painted it on my face and i washed it off in 10 minutes this is already well, we're missing number two where's number two at Oh no, I did not do number two. Okay, so there's like a packet here, something. Bleach powder. Oh my God, there's all this stuff. All right, so developer bleach powder and lightning cream and conditioner. So I'm thinking conditioners last. Maybe these two are first and then we do this one after. I'm gonna go ahead and read these directions now. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you a skim of what to do here on the directions. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply this, mix this up, and I'm gonna stick it right in my hair and I'm gonna show you my hair before and after so you can see if it actually works because I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go through these uh, instructions together. So it says, um, make sure that your hair is dry, unshampooed and detangled. Um, so it says first you're going to put on these gloves, but I'm going to wait till I actually am ready to put it in my hair for this. Um, twist off applicator tip. The tip. And then it says twist off the head. This. I set it aside. Uh, and then you're going to take number two and cut it where, see where it says cut on the scissor right here. And then put this in here. But first it says to shake it. Like it says it breaks it loose, but I don't know. It's just kind of ridiculous. I, I thought this company was, L'Oreal was supposed to be some kind of um, high class, but it's, I feel like it's talking to me like I'm a second grader. Put in here, right? Uh, pack it on the line, cut it, and pour it in the cream bottle. Screw flat cap, so it gives you the second cap, and it says screw the cap on. Now, this is what I don't understand. Wait, 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 wait. Why did you put this cap on here to ship it to get the stuff in there? Now I have to lay this on the ground. If this drips or falls on the ground or anything, then I'll make a mess. Then I put the nice cap on. If I was gonna use this cap first, open it up, pour this in and pour this back, why didn't you just transport it like this in the first place? What, what? And what is the point of me taking this piece off of this piece to let it sit there and then maybe let this stuff either drip out from the nose or from the back. So like, I don't know, does, is, is all this kind of stuff the same way? It's kind of funky and it doesn't make sense or is this just my first time? All right, so um, screw flat cap on, point bottle away from face, shake. So after you mix these two together, you shake it, this all up. Uh, immediately remove flat cap once bleach mixture is smooth and creamy, discard flat cap in the trash. So you would take this off after it's mixed, throw this in the trash and replace with applicator cap. But now when you replace this with, now you take this off. And the reason you take it off is this is making a chemical and it's swelling it's made, and it makes heat and it contracts. And if you keep this on, it might pop out the side or it might shoot this off and it hits you in the eye. So. They're doing this for you know anti-lawsuit, but you shouldn't have took that off first. That would, 
that doesn't make sense either. Uh, and it says, um, discard flat cap, always shake bottle. And then the next thing is to lighten the ends first. So I guess you only mix number one with number two. I don't see where it, number, oh, number three. Okay. Hold on now. Oops, squeeze. Okay. So that, that doesn't make sense either. So after you take this off, put this in, pour this on, shake it all up, then open it up again. Then you poke this like little needle thing through this. And then you squeeze all this into here. And then you close it up again, then you shake it up again. That makes no sense. Why don't they just send it like this, open it up, squeeze all this in here, shake it up, throw this away, put this on, and take this piece off. Now you're ready to go. I mean, what are all these steps for? Like, I'm, this is ridiculous. I, I hope it comes out good because um, I'm not impressed with the procedure or how they wrote up the, the instructions. It's, I almost lost a step from all this crap. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and put this, um, we're gonna do the strands first, wait 20 to 30 minutes, and then do the roots. So I don't have any strands. My hair is only like two inches long and, it, and I'm not doing the sides, just the top. So we're only gonna do a little bit. So I'm gonna take some out of this and put it in another container and leave just a tiny, like 25% of this. Then I'm gonna use 25% 25, 25 of this and 25% of this. That way I can color my hair a few times because this is for like a whole person's hair, like like a, like a long haired person. You know what I mean? Gotta be politically correct. That might not be a woman. So uh, anyway, I digress. Um, so let's go get this done. I'm gonna start mixing some of this up. I'm gonna put these gloves on. I'm gonna start putting this on my hair like shampoo and putting it in. And then I'm just gonna wait the, the it says 20 and then another 20 plus 20 to 30 plus another 20 to 30. So 40 to 60. I'm gonna wait like 40 minutes and then go look at it in the mirror. If it looks like, uh, if I look like Slim Shady, um, I'm gonna rinse it out immediately. If it doesn't look like it has turned, I might leave it in another five minutes and check on it again. So let's go ahead and do the mix up and let's get this thing cracking and hopefully my hair doesn't fall out. So I look good on both my YouTube channels. All right. So just because you made it this far, I got a little joke for you. All right, so I just got the little mixing tray from the other thing that we did. I'm gonna put some of this in. I don't have a lot of hair, so I don't wanna waste it all. Oh, that seems like a lot. So I don't think I need that much. Cause uh, I shaved my head, so let's go with this little bit. And then we don't need this one till after, it's like a conditioner. And we're gonna squirt some of this one in there. So you're gonna turn this around and pop that out. So that's each of the three chemicals that we got. And we mix all this up to together and make a paste. Oh no. As you can see, I've never done this before. <laughs> I am not a hairstylist. Okay. Need a little little paste so I didn't really make that much I just made a wee little bit um, like I said my hair is shaved so I'm just gonna go paint this on 
the top of my hair only. Um, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's on me. And then we'll do a before and after so you can see. I mean, you know what my hair looks like, so. Now, like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna paint like, you know what I mean? Around the hair here. I just kind of want you to see a little bit and then I'm gonna go up in the mirror and actually do it correctly. So I'm not gonna go crazy. Just gonna get it on the hair. I don't wanna saturate my hair too much. It says not to get it on your scalp. Um, it, you should put Vaseline around your hairline, but I'm not doing the color. So it's not like I'm dying my hair. When I do the color, I'll do this little Vaseline line thing. So see like right there, I would have got the purple on my skin but there's no, there's no worry about this. So I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and, and paint this. Hey everybody. I'm gonna go upstairs and paint this on myself and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like after a few minutes and we'll see if it lightens up. Well, I would say in 10 minutes, it made me pretty blonde. I do feel like I could stand in for Slim Shady, whatever he needs. I got you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick. Like, I hope it's looking cause I can't really see, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out real quick. And then um, I'm gonna let it like dry a little bit and start reading the directions of what I need to do to get the purple up in there. Um, it's coming along pretty good, right? I don't even look like the same person. Go back and look at some of my videos on uh, from like a year ago without the facial hair, um, without me dyeing the beard and the longer hair, brown, I'm not even gonna look like the same guy, you know? All right, let's get this out so we can see what it actually looks like. All right, so, you see? Just washed it, came out super blonde, but I, I still got dark roots, because it said don't get it on your scalp, but I've never done this type of stuff before myself. You know, when I was young, I had a girl dye my hair, but, uh. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. But uh, it looks pretty cool, right? Already, I'm blonde, right? So um, now, I'm gonna go ahead, go downstairs and open the packet. We're gonna go through the purple stuff, and then I'm gonna put the purple stuff in. I'm gonna read the directions to you. We're gonna put the purple stuff in, and I think it sits like 45 minutes. And then I have to get a cold shower. I can't just stick my head in there. I have to get a cold shower and rinse all the purple out. It has to be cold water so you don't pull the color out. Make sure it's cold water. The girl at the place told me, and I read it, so come on. All right, so let's get it moving. So now we're gonna move on to the color. And like I said before, this is like a $15 bottle of hair color. And um, I got it on sale for $3.40. Uh, it's a little darker purple than what I wanted. I wanted a lighter, but if it comes out to this and you can see it pretty good on top, that's great. Cause we just lightened the hair and really my hair came from light brown to this light blonde. So this is the box that it comes in, right? And then this is just the stuff I, I got in the box. So this is the actual color and it comes in this little squirty bottle. Now this one comes in the squirty bottle because you actually use the squirty bottle. Um, you have to cut this off this tip when you're ready, cut that off, and then it's already ready to go. You don't have to mix anything. This is ready, that's why I like it. Now, it did come with two little generic lunch lady gloves again. Um, this is some conditioner. I thought I was gonna have to mix this, but deep reconstructor, I guess that reconstructs the hair after you do all this damage to it by stripping it and coloring it. So we'll do that afterward. And then, Here's just a cool little set of instructions. Again, it tells you what to do. So this says for the splat midnight semi-permanent, that's what we got. Um, uh, the first thing you're gonna do is put the, on the, the gloves. So, I mean, they all say before you do any of this, take a little piece of your hair and test it and see what it looks like, but I, I don't really care about that. So we put on the gloves. Shake the color, I guess in case it settles, but you're not mixing anything, it's just this. Application process time. So um, 
this says process color for 45 minutes to one hour for thicker hair and uh leave or 45 minutes to one hour and for thicker hair an additional 15 minutes so that would be an hour to an hour and 15 minutes i have really thin hair so we're going to do the 45 minutes only uh, and it says check a small section of the hair every 10 minutes to check status so if you have a lot of hair, you can go up and take like a little piece off and rinse it in the sink or with a rag or something, and you can see the color that you're achieving. Again, my hair is only this thick, maybe thin or tall, an inch and a half that I'm not checking anything. Uh, rinse the hair. So this is very and very important is step number five in this application. So application, you're just putting this one thing on. You know what I mean? If you can't squirt some of this into one of these gloves and, and squish this around your head, then you shouldn't even be watching videos. So uh, rinse and wash hair separately. So you're going to rinse all the stuff out first, and then you're going to wash it. Use an old or dark colored towel because some of the dye will come off on the towel. So uh, use cold water to avoid staining and help lock in the color. Now, if you use hot water or lukewarm water, you might strip almost all the color out that you just put in. You don't want to do that. So you got to use really cold water. It sucks. I get in the shower and do it all the time. In the military, it's a cold shower all the time overseas. We didn't have hot water. So I'm used to it. Uh, it says after that, um, you want to use a sulfate-free shampoo. So I got to go upstairs and see if my... Shampoo is a sulfate free shampoo. And then use this deep conditioner to penetrate deep into the inner hair fiber, rebuilding hair from the inside out. So they know that you destroy your hair doing this. I mean, you're not destroying it, destroying it, but you're putting some damage on it. But this conditioner, I'll be able to use this three or four or five times, probably maybe for a month. <laughs> Only need a trip. All right, so I'm gonna put these gloves on. I'm going to go upstairs and squish this all over my head. But the first thing I'm going to do, and it did not tell me in here, is right around the lines of my hairline, I'm going to put a small dab of Vaseline. That way, if I touch the Vaseline, this color won't stain my skin, and I can wipe the Vaseline off when I'm all done. Now, it is a trick because I asked some people how to do this, so they said that that's a little trick. I did not see any of the directions for the bleach or the color, but we are going to go ahead and try that. So I'm going to go upstairs and Vaseline up, <laughs> and then we're going to put the color on. I'm going to wait an hour. I'm going to video um, the color after an hour so you can see what it looks like. Then I'm going to rinse it out, and then I'm going to video it after it's dry so you can see the final product. All right, so I got this purple in. You see it? It's kind of hard to to do this. I need a buddy to, you know. I try to get the line perfect. It's hard to see by yourself. But anyway, it smells so good. Oh my God. I was about to start sticking the squirt in my mouth, like a squirt on my hair. And squirt in my hair. Just, my God, I, it, it smells like some kind of grape candy like i've never even smelled before it smells so wonderful like a magnificent scratch and sniff from god it's like my hair smells so good you know so i'm gonna go ahead and let it um dry for a while then i'm gonna hop in the shower behind me and uh get a nice cold shower well at least cold on the the shower on the head part uh clean all up dry it out and then let you see what it looks like afterward. Now remember, I've never done this before, so I'm hoping that it sticks. I mean, okay, I lie. I did try to do this once before without bleach, and I just put some Manic Panic on my hair, and I actually have it here. So I put this on my hair, I'm supposed to turn it green, and it washed right out, and I tried it like two or three times, and I put this on my hair one day, and I let it sit for like three hours, and it, it, it didn't do anything. So I don't know if it's because it was old, like someone gave it to me, it was over a year old, or um, it's just a bad product or it didn't work, but uh, I think this stuff's gonna work. We'll see. All right, so um, 
This is the hair like a week later. I, I forgot to finish this video. I've, I've been so busy with school. Now I got three channels. So if you want to see DIY stuff like house repair, computers, hair, beard, that's this channel. If you want to see car stuff and entertainment like wrapping and car fixing, go to our channels tab and hit the um, uh, Disturbing Creations auto channel. It's, it That's like my biggest channel so far, you know, and then I have one more channel coming out called Legion Parabellum where we are just going to talk about things on my podcast that everyone else is afraid to talk about because I don't care, you know? So you got three ways to be entertained. But if you just want to do DIY stuff, then hit that like and subscribe. We're trying to get monetized on this channel so we can make a little more money, go out and grab some new products and make some new things for you, 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 my lovely, lovely viewers. So, peace out. Have a good one. I like it. You know? Pretty fresh, right? All right.